Hello everybody out there on YouTube, we are the Middle Aged Guys and uh, I am completely under the weather, but we are still doing videos for your viewing uh, enjoyment <laughs> uh, and your mileage will vary when it comes to that. Uh, <laughs> let's get the uh, introductions out of the way, I'm the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Okay, excuse me as I uh, struggle through my stuffed up uh, sinuses and everything else, um, but... The world of entertainment and the world of video games did not stop this last week, even though I spent most of it on the couch myself, uh, under under blankets and uh, uh, passed out and medicated. Uh, a few things that uh, that happened that were really really interest interesting, especially considering Nintendo. Especially if you're looking at this particular uh, video that's showing up right here, as far as the placeholder that we have up, uh, Nintendo the Switch. You know, which has been uh, pretty much the video game darling, the industry darling, all of 2017. <laughs> um, showed, proved to, to everybody that Nintendo is not, you know, down and out. That, they, yes, indeed, they are still relevant. And, yes, indeed, they are still making waves in the in the industry. Um, after they went ahead, they put out a mini direct. Pretty much a lot of people were looking forward to that. Um, you know, which gave a little bit of insight to some of the things that are coming down for the Switch over the next few months. Um, people were expecting that something else was going to come from Nintendo and they were going to announce something new. Lo and behold, Nintendo, like Nintendo do, they went ahead, they started dropping crumbs in the trail on Twitter and they were saying, yeah, we have a product that is going to appeal to the young at heart, uh, <laughs> the young and the young at heart. And uh, people really didn't know what was uh, going on with that until they saw this particular trailer that we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at right now. And we're going to give our generous thoughts. All right. So if you're looking at uh, the first look at Nintendo Labo video on Nintendo's uh, uh, channel themselves, that's what we're going to look through. Hopefully Nintendo doesn't flag this particular YouTube video. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. But if they do, that's Nintendo being Nintendo. So... Uh, in any case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to watch it. If you want to watch along, we're going to go ahead and we're going to press play in three, two, one. Huh. <laughs> one Printing presses, cardboard. <laughs> what, they're going to have Nintendo money? <laughs> Might as well. They're printing that right now, Nintendo, huh? Nintendo currency. You Nintendo heard bucks. <laughs> Nintendo bucks. <laughs> Our <laughs> bucks will be kind of awesome. Yeah, actually, yeah. Cardboard, yeah. <laughs> watch, cut watch out. Nintendo trademark that and have that shit within the next three years. It, what, a it, piano? It, wait, that's a that's a keyboard or a typewriter? That's, that's a keyboard. Keyboard. <laughs> yep. Put your control there. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Now, how is that even possible? I have no idea. What the heck is that? <laughs> a starship. <laughs> uh oh, fishing rod. Uh oh. Okay. Roman, there you go, boss. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I'm sold on that. <laughs> cool. So you can play multiple Wait. notes on that. Wait, so a yep. pedal? They. They have a remote control. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the string is attached to switch. Now, oh, oh no, wait. That thing was, the cardboard was moving with the freaking Joy-Cons on there? What? <laughs> How was that? What? Wait, a jetpack? No. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay, that one's pretty wait, cool. Wait, would that, wait, would that work for arms? I, I don't know if it'll work for arms, but that looks pretty fucking cool. How? <laughs> Steering wheels. A wait, uh, wait, what? Gun. A rifle. A rifle. Oh, uh, okay. So, wait, was that a stick for a flight simulator? Yeah. Wow. So the mechanisms are inside the cardboards. Okay. You could customize it with Crayola. With your own drawing, yeah. 
draw that shit and and, and make it your own. Put your name on it. <coughs> okay. Why does it look like gingerbread houses? Uh, look, it does. It's, that's what happens when you make everything pastel. That's a big <laughs> homework assignment. For 2018. That variety kit. Variety kit. Toy Con number two, the robot kit. Um. Wow. Okay. okay. All right. Hold, hold that thought. Hold that thought. <laughs> let's, really? We get a whole yeah. thoughts here. Let Let's go ahead and let's let's go to let's go to our normal full screen here and let's uh let's talk about this. All right. Uh. Okay. <laughs> um. When you think that Nintendo. can do something different uh they go ahead and they do something like this um uh the april 20th there there are a lot of motherfuckers who are out there who are either going to be building stuff or getting high or building stuff while getting high and then smashing shit like a fucking robot 420 come april 20th 420 2018 um and i hope that's a joke that hasn't been overused by this time um okay okay um before i go off on on too long uh, i gotta say this if if we haven't said it enough on our particular channels uh the one thing that nintendo knows how to do uh, better than Microsoft, better than Sony. Shit, obviously better than Sega. Otherwise, Sega would still be in the fucking business. All right, is that Nintendo knows how to sit there and grab casual fans and non gamers like. Okay, this right here. It, although intriguing, it doesn't look like anything that would sit there and uh, appeal to the hardcore gamer, uh, if you ask me um, uh, honestly. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on it? That sure beats the ass of this. <laughs> this. <clears throat> okay, look. So basically, you're building your own peripherals out of cardboard and you have to make strings and mechanisms in order to make that shit work and then switch <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> and here's here's the thing the the concept is is old as shit all right because the thing is, is that you, do you remember like the um the original uh e3 uh videos that they that they used to put out for like the wii for like, um, I don't know, uh, Nintendo music, you know, and all that other stuff where they're pre pre uh, pretending to be, um, you know, playing certain certain uh, instruments and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I guess just, you know, waving, I don't know. The, uh, okay, the only problem I guess just that waving had... dildos in the air and like pantomiming bullshit. No, you know, that, that, was, that, was that, that really. No, the dildos were Sony PlayStation Move. <laughs> these things have these things have fucking condoms on them. All oh, right, okay. just I'm just saying. All right, okay. instead of instead of waving, you know, battery operated devices that could be held in your hand and in, in the air while pantomiming, you know, certain instruments or 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 you know, doing certain actions. I guess they took that particular part. Um, uh, Nintendo <laughs> Nintendo realized at at some point that they were like, okay, we're in video games, and um. At a certain point, anybody who plays a video game doesn't want to use their imagination that much. So let's go ahead and <laughs> let's go ahead and give them something physical to put in their hands. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I yeah this so, this one. So for my opinion, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um, I think this might have a niche market um i i hope i'm wrong on this you know i, I hope that, that there's a a lot of people that's going to bring this on board but 
you know, you got to think reality. I mean, you, I think this is a niche market. I really do. But I mean, I would love to see it succeed. But am I interested in that? Am I interested in building cardboard to, to play my Switch games on? Uh, not so much for me. That's just that's just my opinion. And but I am glad that Nintendo's there and they're and they're innovating. Don't get don't take this the wrong way. I'm not saying this is not a fantastic idea. I mean, it is. I mean, I think you said, Reverend, you know, off camera, saying that. Sony or Microsoft wouldn't even part in the general direction of this. Nope. nope. And I'm just saying, that's just how Wait innovative Nintendo is. Wait and a minute. always be. So, so, having that been said, when has Sony and Microsoft done any innovations toward gaming? They have. They've been copying Nintendo for the last... No, they, they, wait. <laughs> exactly. They have been copying <laughs> or trying to move forward from what Nintendo has already put out there. Established. Yep. Well, okay. There's there's a few things that uh, that I can go ahead and I can I can name off the top of my head as far as like contributions to the actual industry. All right. However, I'm going to avoid doing that for the fact that I don't want to sit there and you know turn this you know our yeah, remaining right. time into a you know fucking history lesson. You know. Right. Um. But generally speaking, the way that Microsoft and Sony are right now is that they're locked in a hardware hardware arms race with each other where pretty much their 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 big buzz sell, sell, sell words and shit like that is literally numbers on a wall frame rates you know resolution numbers and fucking floppy shit power. that they're throwing yeah, yeah and, and floppy shit that they're throwing at your face all right yeah. that's literally what they're marketing upon okay um when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to actual player experience you know outside of oh you know what you have here uh, on your control pad and you know the the type of visual fidelity that you have in front of you they really haven't exactly gone out of their way to explore new things okay or even you know conceptually speaking in this particular one maybe revisiting older ideas but with you know uh, a little bit more fervor all right a modern twist i would say yeah, you know, uh, I mean, like some of the things that, that I, when I first heard about it and everything else, they were explaining how, okay, like the piano, the way that it works is that you have the right Joy-Con that's sitting in there, and what it's doing is that it's seeing these reflective strips that are on the um, on the actual keys as they're, as they're hitting up, and that's, that's what registers the tone. And I was like, so how does it register multiple tones? Well, obviously what's probably happening is that those strips are different lengths, Mm -hmm. So when it sees multiple keys being pressed down, it sits there and it registers those uh, those uh, values and everything. Um, <clears throat> this particular thing right here, uh, from what I've seen, is uh, is really really interesting. Um, let's see here. According to the Nintendo Labo website, um, let's see here. Yeah, Labo.Nintendo.com. Uh, there, it looks like they've got two kits that are coming out. Uh, the first one is the variety kit, mm -hmm. uh, and that comes with five different projects: the RC cars, the fishing rod, the house, the motorbike, and the piano project. Uh, which all of the toy con projects—that's what they're they're initially oh. called. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, that's for sixty nine ninety nine, and that includes the actual cartridge software that that'll go with it. And then there is the robot kit, which is a full eighty dollars, and that will have its own software also that's uh, playable with it. So, um, and yeah, those are going to be those are going to be hitting stores on April twentieth, uh, two thousand eighteen. <laughs> no, I was just going to say um, what I'm kind of interested in is like the fishing game. Is it actually like when you catch a fish? Are you actually going to feel like? <laughs> are you actually going to? I mean, I can understand you, you could actually vibrate the controller when the when a fish hits the line, but are you actually going to feel like the the fish fighting you? You know what I mean? Are you going to actually feel a a tug on it to where it actually feels like there is something on that line? Remember, I, I, I don't remember. know, and that's really intriguing. <laughs> remember, you, you know, I mean, I find that very the interesting. Joy-Con thing—they supposed to. 
be like when you're holding a cup of ice and when you shake it, they're supposed to, you're supposed to be feeling real sure. ice. Well, here's, here's the thing that, about that, though, is that the way that we understood it was that, okay, well, the experience of the motion and everything else was pretty much, you know, localized to the Joy-Con, all right? But they've got an RC car kit where you can sit there and you can make things fucking move. That was the thing that I, that, that I was like, whoa, wait. So yeah. So it's sitting in there and it's actually moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually actuating, you know, something or moving around. It was on top of that you <clears throat> And you have to balance it. Well, it, it kind of this kind of reminds me of uh, I don't know if you guys remember it, but in the, there's a toys in the '80s called Constructs, where yeah. actually it you actually have building blocks that you buy, and it actually has little wheels and and gears and stuff that yes. you put together to make whatever. Yeah. You want. What is and, Nintendo? What so are they going to bring back the Armatron from Radio Shack or whatever? But look, it, look. I, this is this is my thing. I the only thing I didn't like about the piano one is that it was like small. No, fuck that. Make it a little bit longer and have some motherfuckers play some Bach or Beethoven with it. That will really impress me. Then it's only one octave. <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah. Fine. But okay. I'm not against the innovation. No. I'm not against that by any stretch. No, absolutely not. The only thing I'm concerned with are the games. <laughs> Is the G are, word? <laughs> are the games going to be okay? Is is this going to jump into mainstream gaming, or is this just you know the novelty thing like Wii Sports for Nintendo? You you know is is it going to sit there or is it going to branch out into a Nintendo franchise? Well, to things. defend the Nintendo Sports, actually, that was actually pretty popular, man. Well, the Wii Later Sports, I understand that. But, okay, that's like the Wii, the Wii modes had a whole bunch of things that you attach to it or put in it. Just like now, you, okay, they had yeah. guns, they had steering wheels, they had all this stuff, and now this is going to take the place of that. You build it yourself. I think <clears throat> the, the, the thing with this here is that um, with a lot of stuff that was out there like that, a lot of the peripherals were kind of put out there. Um, they weren't exactly made directly by Nintendo, there's right? A, there was a freaking pedal in that. Yeah. So the we, damn it. Yeah. They also have the uh, the uh, drum set. It looks like. Yeah. I mean, there's the, with this with this particular one here. It looks like they've got the two kits that are that are um that are out there's obviously a lot of other things that they're planning on going ahead and, and and bringing to this it really kind of in my eyes it really kind of crosses between uh edutainment where you have a lot of people you know this for all for a lot of folks if you know look i understand like shop class isn't very big anymore in uh in schools and all, or anything like that which is a damn shame because the ability to go ahead and mechanically build something they actually is those out of schools now. Yeah. You know, majority of the schools don't have those anymore. All right. But I think as far as it goes, the ability to actually, you know, build something, even just from a, uh, an artistic standpoint, being able to understand those type of things is a, is a very useful skill. All right. Um, so, uh, an edutainment level, this is, this works wonders. All right. For anybody who's interested into you know who who's out of the, out there who can sit there and lose themselves you know lose hours of time either not building things you know uh, like through Lego or anything like similar to that this will also hit on, on that sort of thing mm -hmm. um, the 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 things that 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 kind of um, that kind of gets me with this is that I I think. With this, there's going to be a lot of kits. It looks like there's a lot of kits that they have set up that look like, oh, yeah, this is some really, really cool stuff. I don't know at this moment in time if any of this stuff is really going to step farther outside of being a grand tech demo of mm -hmm. what the Joy-Cons can do. Because that, really, what that's, what it's, that's really what it's kind of illustrating right but now. That's, but that's what I was alluding to earlier. Is this going to go mainstream with Nintendo or... Is it just going to be like a novelty thing and it's just going to be cut off at a certain yeah. point? 
Uh, well, you see, Nintendo themselves is putting this together, so it's a it's a first party effort. All right, which yeah. which I like. All right, um, so they've got at least they've got their the folks that are there that are going ahead and, and they're looking at this. Okay, mm-hmm. um, it's also kind of crossing over into that whole toys uh, toys to video games thing, which started out with uh, let's see here, Skylanders and Spyro, and then Lego Dimensions, and then the Disney Infinity. Which is still continuing on with like the Nebos and stuff like that. Oh you know? God! So are they gonna actually make a like a stand to put your switch in and have you put your head in with the Joy Cons right here? Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? I, I would love to see. Oh my God! I would, I would fucking pick them all up and all the Amiibos also if they did this. Do you remember the old fucking board game? The old game that you had to set up called Castles and Catapults. Yes. <laughs> Could you imagine a Nintendo version with all the fucking amiibo? Amiibos. Um. Let yes. Me something. How long? <laughs> let me remind you. How long did it take you to, to set that up before you even started playing? Uh, no, I, I'm, I'm just saying. saying. I, I'm just no, saying. I, I, I'm, but, I'm saying I would buy that shit. But the thing, like is, day one, okay. You know Not what? Saying that it would still be it'd still be in the cellophane nine months later, but I'd buy that shit day one, okay. But. The evil thing is, <coughs> is who's to say that you're not going to have a, uh, <coughs> a a cardboard box that fits over your head with the? With That's the, what I was just alluding to. Right here, and then you have your your switch controllers here, and whatever. Actually, it kind of looked like that was that's what was going on with the robot so game. Now, and the question I got is this: And that's your where's the credit card switch. slot? What's up? Where's the credit card slot? No. <laughs> Okay, give us cardboard credit cards. How about that shit? No. Is this still have Amiibo functionality? Yes. What? Oh, I, I'm pretty sure it will. Like I said, so I'm they, I am damn sure it will. What would they call that? The Virtual Boy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Toy Con kit? Yeah. You know, like I said, if they, they you know, with no, this, fuck that. Have have a build like okay. Have a game called Nintendo Max. Have Mario as mech, Koopa as mech, have a mech game, just like that robot shit, like that, bam. <laughs> a Nintendo on? Nintendo on. Nintendo on. <laughs> Wait, I, I, I'd buy that. I'd, I'd buy that. You know what? I would be signed for that. If that would have come I'd up, buy that. fuck, I would be like, yeah, I want to try or, that. Or a Smash on? Yeah, I would. Ooh. I would... A virtual just smash, don't, yeah. Just I, I'd don't, be on that. Just don't have these cart. Those, I mean, the, please, people. If you get this, don't, don't abuse the cardboard so much that it. <clears throat> well, here's here's the cool thing about that is that <laughs> all right. I, I, one of the things I, I've heard over the last few days is that oh, so Nintendo's figured out a way to sell you cardboard for eighty dollars a pop. Um, okay, number one, it includes again. Number two. Have you seen the prices of adult coloring books? Those things are fucking expensive, all right? Okay, number three. Wait, there are adult coloring books? Yes. I'm caught yes. up on that. Okay, yeah. And I, I, if, I couldn't get past that section. If, uh, if you look up the prices for adult coloring books, those things are fucking expensive, all right? <laughs> um, and number, number three, all right? <laughs> The cool thing about this is that, especially if you're, if you're anybody who's like me, who's ever put together like models and shit like that, um, if you've ever, you know, gotten a model kit and then you've broken one piece or, 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 or oh things like that, it's, it's fucked because then you have to sit there and can't buy that piece by itself. No. Some of the, some of the, some of the model places will sit there. They'll allow you to go ahead and get a hold of like, uh, not, not those particular pieces, but like, the assembly sheet where that that uh, that piece will be on, but a lot of times those are only available in Japan, and you've got to wait for like four to six weeks for that shit to happen. Ooh. If you have somebody who's around to actually go ahead and translate the fucking order form for you, but I digress. All right, um, the cool thing with this is that Nintendo has actually made it so that you can get the templates uh, and download them directly off their website. Mm-hmm. Those are free. So if you have just your standard, you know, Amazon box or, you know, suitable cardboard sheet, you can sit there, you can measure, you can cut these yourselves, 
and you can go ahead and they would function just the same as if you bought it off the kit. All right. Okay. You saw guns. You, 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 I, it's like, okay, bring back some gun games. Shit. Well, you saw Flight Simulator. Uh, like that, I, that looked crazy. And I would like to see what are you playing with that? You saw a pedal. Look, I would, I would like to see another Pilot Wings. I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> Namco. Hook up with Nintendo and put Time Crisis with that pedal. There, there could be a whole bunch of things. There's that they a lot can do. of possibilities for this. It really now, is. the my my thing with this is that this does scream grand experiment. Um, I'm hoping this shit blows up. I really do. All right, because the thing is, is that look, if this blows up, this is the next biggest thing, and people are going out of their way and they're, you know, all of a sudden they're they're hawking Labo kits on for fucking eBay for 450 bucks. You know, I I think that's still a scummy move, but it's gonna be here's another the thing. Here, here's yeah. the thing. Here's the thing. If it blows up and it gets gets as popular as that, then third parties can sit there and confidently go in, go in, and not only make projects for this, but actually dedicate some real fucking uh, dev time to it. All right. Because the issue with a lot of third parties when it comes to with Nintendo uh, Nintendo units, and this has been the case all, all the way since the Wii, all right, is that uh, even if they their devs want to go ahead and do, like, exclusive games for the Wii, the publishers, the guys who actually pay their money, pay the money and everything else, say, oh, no, it's much cheaper. It'll cost us a quarter of the amount of dollars if we go ahead and we just port over the PS2 version of this other fucked up game and just match it to the fucking Wii controls, all right? Let's go ahead and do that. You okay, and that's exactly what they did for fucking years. All you right. You know what I just thought of? <sighs> Metroid Prime 4 Toy Con kit. <laughs> I am dead serious. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, not even that. If they just have something. <clears throat> Like, okay, Samus's freaking gun or whatever, and you control one Joy-Con and <laughs> one is. I think uh, I, I think once this <coughs> kits come out and gets <coughs> and it gets around and about, I think they're gonna make more kit. Well, that's obviously they're gonna make more kits. What but I think they, okay, Zelda. Will they make the Master Sword? Well, what I'm thinking is is I'm thinking it's gonna be more uh, more integrative. I think uh, they're gonna put where they're gonna put uh, like LED light strips and battery operated and sounds and stuff. I mean, I, I I'm serious. I mean, let's go way let, let's go way out here. Cardboard and glow sticks together. Well, I, let's 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 not forget that you know when Nintendo started out, their the company's been around for over a hundred years. They were they are originally a toy maker. Well, they're a play playing you know card. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. So, you, you know what? I actually take that back. I, you know what? It, I, I said I didn't want to see cardboard and glow sticks. You know what? I retract that. <laughs> I mean, it, it could go. I think. I think Nintendo's going to throw out these couple kits, and then they, sometime during somebody's uh, going to customize that. You think about it. Some people will customize that anyway. They're going to do that anyway. And Nintendo, mm -hmm. and it's it just waiting for people to put. I mean, look. You could buy a light strip, LED light strip from Amazon for like twelve dollars or whatever, yep, and yep. and you could put it a little battery pack in there with a AAA battery or whatever, not weighing anything. It, no, it's going to happen. It's going to be yeah. part of a kit. It's good. Maybe Nintendo call it the Action Kit. I, you know, go back to old school. <laughs> well, let's. <laughs> I'm just well, saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna happen. And, and then there, there will be the ultimate action kit, and then the super, super action kit, and then the, yeah. <laughs> they better not make a cardboard Rob. I think they're on their way there. That that's coming soon. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure. Or Nintendo's gonna just sell you a big piece of cardboard, and you can cut it out, and they'll have a break dancing game with it, and set your cardboard down, and okay, but you no, no, no. <coughs> so you and ten break dancing. Fuck that DDR shit. No. A piece of cardboard. You're going to be playing right play Gyromite. You're going to be playing <coughs> Gyromite again with Rob. No. Yes. <laughs> Wrestling? 
Wow. Oh, but wait, it's funny because we're having a <coughs> call it the Rob Kit. These are these are possibilities that Nintendo may actually freaking do. You heard it first. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's quite possible. It is quite possible. Um, but I gotta say that okay, generally speaking, all right. I, I think uh I think I speak for all of us. All right. This is intriguing. This is really really, really intriguing, all right. Is this is this really for us as hardcore gamers? I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, I, I don't know. For me, it depends on the freaking games. Because this is for <sighs> Nintendo. And if Nintendo franchises jump into this, and if the innovation is correct, and you could do some shit with Nintendo games, and then then you're absolutely we're absolutely done there. Yeah. Okay. For me, what? I, you know, I'm just gonna wait. I, I mean, I, I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going to – it's intriguing. It's what? <laughs> no. If they, they have a Master Sword toy, <clears throat> to, toy con, you get it. A sword, Master Sword and, and Shield. And Shield. Oh, is that the new Zelda? Hell, yeah. <laughs> if, Breath no, of the Wild, no, if Breath shit. of the Wild 2 comes with a, with a, with a Labo kit – and a fucking in its own set of amiibos, Gray Mouse is all over that. I don't like amiibos. What are y'all guys talking about? <laughs> Not at all. But like I say, this is a perfect, this is a perfect thing, right in time for Metroid Prime Four. I'm just saying, Metroid Prime Four just gets announced, and then they come up with this, and they're in the middle of making a Metroid Prime Four. Let me let's we're, let me say this real quick, right? We sat here for 40 minutes talking about Nintendo's innovation. Can you, can we do this for the other two? Um, that's another video itself. We would no, 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 but, but, but my point that. still stands. No, no, that's what I'm saying. We would have to think about what they did innovate and what they brought forth to the mm -hmm. forefront as far as gaming. But generally speaking, they're not going to take this risk. All right. No. And, <laughs> And here's the thing. Here is the, here is the incredibly, here's the incredibly ingenious thing about this. All right, is that this isn't th these aren't resin kits. These aren't poly kits or anything else. This is fucking cardboard. All right. Guess what? If Nintendo can't go, go out of their way to sell all this, they can just recycle this bullshit, <laughs> and they are done. See, it's earth friendly. There you go, guys. What are people? There you go. It's earth friendly. People just go out of their way and make wood versions or metal versions of these things. Um. So, Reverend, I got a question. <laughs> Reverend, can you actually buy from Nintendo the uh, cardboard cutouts? Let's say I want extra ones. I mean, I know they give you a blueprint of one where you can do yourself. But what if what if you're like, like me? I don't want to. I don't want to uh, make my own. Can I buy a a store bought like pack of of kits? I, cardboard I don't. I don't know. And unfortunately, the the label website doesn't say anything about that you uh, on its own right now. Okay. Yeah. You live in a home in a certain area. You better have flood <clears throat> insurance for these things or fire. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, if you own a home, flood flood insurance is is mandatory. I know. All right. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, this particular one, like, like we said, folks, you know, Labo, I, I don't know. Kudos to Nintendo for, for innovating again. Uh, I, I mean, I, I've got my Microsoft, my older Microsoft systems, and I love my, my, my PS4. That's all I've been playing, you know, the whole time I've been sick and everything. Um, but I know, honestly, and I think a lot of people who are, who are out there, if they thought about this, honestly, uh, neither of those, those guys are looking in the, anywhere in the same fucking galaxy as this. All right, and that's one of the reasons why you know I think we need companies like Nintendo, you know. Uh, and when it comes to this, it's off the wall. It's it's crazy. I don't know if it's for me, um, but I want this shit to blow up. I want them to be as successful as they as they fucking can when when it comes to this. All right, um, maybe maybe that's just me being a uh, you know uh, uh, sentimental or, or optimistic. But what we really want to know, folks, is that, you know, if you've seen the Labo trailer, all right, uh, what do you think about it? Are the guys at Nintendo smoking shit? They are releasing it on 420. So, 
Um, is it, is it, uh, you know, a crack, a pipe dream? Is it something that, that, that should never come? Or is it something that you think is potentially cool? You can tell us by leaving us a comment below while you're at it. Uh, you could go ahead and mash that like button. If you like this particular video, uh, if you didn't, you can hit on like also that's, that's completely fine with us. And if you really like what we're doing here, uh, and you want to stick around, I suggest you go ahead and hit subscribe and uh, turn on those notifications. You'll know whenever we put out uh, a video, even as sparse as we do it, my apologies beforehand. All right. Uh, with all of that, let's go ahead and wrap up this particular video on the Nintendo Labo line of products that they're bringing out. Um, thank you, by the way, for watching all the way up into this point. I am the Reverend. The theme here. And I'm Gray Mouse One. Once again, for the benefits of common sense, logic, and gaming. And remember, you owe your gaming life to Nintendo. <laughs> Credits. You know what's, what worries me now is the number of lawsuits that are going to be started from the number of cardboard paper cuts that kids are going to be suffering all over the place from putting this shit together without adult supervision. Adult supervision required. No. It's going to have that in the instructions and it won't be fine print. <laughs>